Good evening. Welcome to the Chandler Public Housing Authority Commission meeting of Monday, December 10th, 2018. Ask the clerk to please call the roll. Chairman Diptrini? Here. Commissioner Lopez? Here. Commissioner Dearman is absent and excused. Commissioner McClymans? Here. Commissioner Rowe? Here. Commissioner Wong? Here. Commissioner Hartke? Here. Commissioner Stewart? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Commission, the first item is on scheduled public appearances. Anybody wishing to address the commission on any item that's not posted on the agenda, now is the time to do so. Okay. Commission, you have uh, two items on your consent agenda, the minutes of the November 5th meeting and also an agreement with Artistic Land Management Company for public housing landscape maintenance. What's your pleasure? Chairman? Council, excuse me, Commissioner Lopez. Yes, I move for the, appro uh, the approval of the consent agenda for the Public Housing Authority Commission of Monday, December 10th. Second. Motion by Commissioner Lopez, second by Commissioner Hartke. Further questions or comments from the commission? Clerk, please poll the commission. Commissioner Lopez? Yes. Commissioner Simons? Yes. Commissioner Rowe? Yes. Commissioner Wong? Yes. Commissioner Hartke? Yes. Commissioner Stewart? Yes. Chairman Tiptrini? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Great. Adjourn the Public Housing Authority Commission meeting. Good evening. Welcome to the Chandler City Council meeting of Monday, December 10th, 2018. Ask the clerk to please call the roll. Mayor Tipsherini? Here. Vice Mayor Lopez? Here. Councilmember McClymans? Here. Councilmember Rowe? Here. Councilmember Wong? Yep. Councilmember Hartke? Here. Councilmember Stewart? Here. We have a quorum. Great. Thank you. The invocation this evening is, is it Pastor Hardy or is it Pastor Winland? I think it's Pastor Hardy. Pastor Hardy? I knew you were here. And the Pledge of Allegiance after the invocation will be led by me. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Oh, come all, ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this gathering as we come unto you. We lift up our voices and praise your name. Dear Father, in this meeting, we want all those who have unspoken voices to rise. Let us, each, each and every one of us, uh, be assured that this leadership will do the right thing. We thank you, dear Father, for all that you are doing for us and with us. This time of the season is such a joyful time, but let us not forget those who are without shelter, without food, and without love. Dear Father, let them know that this council, that these people here realize what they are going through, and we are indeed here to help them, each and every one. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, Council, we do have a number of items on the consent agenda this evening. What's your pleasure? Mayor? Vice Mayor, mm -hmm. I saw your hand going, and then go ahead, Vice Mayor. Mayor, yes, I, <laughs> I move for the approval 
of the consent agenda for the regular meeting of Monday, November 5th. Second. I second. Motion by Vice Mayor Lopez, second by Council Member Rowe. Further discussion on the consent agenda? Council, please vote the motion. Motion carries unanimously. Great. Council will do current events on Thursday. With that, we'll adjourn the meeting. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to no underwear so tired. We've been working hard. It's our third meeting tonight. Wow. Uh, welcome you to the study session of Monday, December 10th, 2018. First item will be scheduled public appearance. I would be pleased if Council Member Terry Rowe could join me out front. Okay, first scheduled public appearance this evening is Service Recognition Awards. We have two employees to honor this evening, one from Administrative Services and one from Community Services. I would like to ask Assistant City Manager Joshua Wright to begin the presentation. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. For our first uh, service recognition, I'd like to ask our Assistant City Manager, Deb Stapleton, to make the presentation for Administrative Services. Thank you. I'd like to ask Mike Rose to stand up in front, please. And while he's joining us, Mayor and Council Members, please join me in congratulating Mike Rose on his 10th year anniversary with employment with the City of Chandler. Mike began his career with the City as a GIS analyst. His leadership, commitment to the City, and great work ethic quickly advanced him to a principal analyst role in information technology. Mike supervises a staff of application programmers that support the permit and code system, the GIS system, and our asset management system. Just a few of the accomplishments that Mike and his team have, have led through have been the redesign of InfoMap, uh, the um, upgrade and implementation of new modules in our Risk Master software, our TAC software solution, and many, many more too long to list. Mike, we greatly appreciate your 10 years of service with the City of Chandler. Thank you for your service, and we wish you continued success in the years to come. Thank you. Mayor, at this time, I'd like to ask our Community Services Director, Brenda Brown, to come forward and make her presentation. Good evening, Mayor and Council. It's with great honor that I invite Cece Martinez to come forward and join you. Who says library staff are shy? We honor Cece Martinez for her 45 years of service to the city of Chandler and Chandler Public. of the city of Chandler, Cece has deep roots in our community. Her family has lived in the Chandler area for generations. The Rosales family fountain is in A.J. Chandler Park, even features her grandparents, Augustine and Trinidad Rosales. She began her library career as the city's first library page, shelving books and creating library cards on a manual typewriter. <laughs> Longtime Chandler residents can still remember Cece's bookmobile visits, bringing books and holding story times throughout the community. I remember her from Shawnee Park. Cece spent many years behind the scenes, mending books and getting them ready for shelves. Along the way, she earned a bachelor's degree in business. Nowadays, you'll find her in the children's department, holding bilingual story times and helping children and adults find books. On a personal note, I've had the opportunity to know Cece for about 32 years. No library staff member has a bigger heart, is more welcoming, or is a better cook. Cece, thank you for your incredible 45 years of service to the city of Chandler. That 
that's fantastic. Congratulations, Cece. When they told me last week that one of the people we were going to be honoring was Cece for, you know, her tenure at the city, I said, what does she have, 30 years in or something? <laughs> but that's how long I've worked with you is 30 years. <laughs> you started 15 years before I got here. So congratulations. That's awesome. Retirement recognition is our next scheduled public appearance. We have one employee receiving their retirement recognition this evening, Kim Neal from our Public Works and Utility Department. I would ask Joshua Wright to begin the presentation. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. This time I'd like to ask our Public Works and Utilities Director, John Knutson, to come forward and make the presentation. And Kim, you can come up here too, since we're honoring you. <laughs> hey, I just came to the picture with you. <laughs> Seriously. You're getting it. After 30 years of faithful service to the residents of Chandler, Kim Neal has decided to retire from his position as wastewater manager for the Public Works and Utilities Department. During his time managing the water and wastewater utilities, Kim has been instrumental in the growth of Chandler from a small town into a bustling hub of high-tech banking and service industries. His vision for the utility has been realized with the construction of extremely effective and robust infrastructure. During his tenure, the city has built and expanded three wastewater facilities, a water treatment plant, and nearly 4,000 miles of water and wastewater piping infrastructure. As a farewell gift to the city and a testament to Kim's work ethic, Kim recently developed and led a project to re-rate the capacity of the city's two wastewater treatment plants. Working with our consultants and the Department of Environmental Quality, the team was able to increase our plant's capacities by 7.5 million gallons per day. This will result in a savings to the ratepayers of Chandler of over $150 million in the years to come. I'd like to express my gratitude and best wishes to Kim in his well-deserved retirement. His vision and tireless commitment will be missed by all. Thank you, Kim. Okay, next scheduled public appearance is a proclamation. Speak up, stand up, save a life. I would like to ask Sarah Ruff and Gina Godbeh here from the Arizona De Developmental Disabilities Planning Council, along with Chandler Police Chief Sean Duggan, to come forward. <coughs> Okay, thank you. Does she? Well, well, I'm going to read it first, but she can definitely get that. Proclamation, whereas the Speak Up, Stand Up, Save a Life movement presents an ideal opportunity to help bridge the gap between young people, our local community, government, and law enforcement in a positive way. And whereas our, <coughs> excuse me, our local schools are facing preventable suicides and tragedies that may include warning signs in person or online. But bystanders or friends remain silent among threats or cries for help. And whereas our young people can be empowered to report concerning posts or comments to school representatives or law enforcement, and adults can receive training to help s spread the message, it is okay to care enough to speak up, stand up, and save a life. And whereas more than 3,000 Arizona students from 120 public, charter, and private and tribal schools have learned the message and created student-led impact projects in their schools and communities. Now, therefore, I, Jay Tipsherini, Mayor of the City of Chandler, Arizona, do hereby proclaim January 2019 as Speak Up, Stand Up, Save a Life Month in Chandler. <coughs> Let that keep. 
This was just an amazing opportunity for us and especially our student leaders on campus. They affected change at such a, a great level, um, even made the, the news, ABC News story, uh, but most of all have really, really empowered peers on our campus to report to a trusted adult or to our SRO when they know that someone is in need or in trouble or just needs help or support. So we thank you very much for this. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, uh, I'm with the county attorney's office, and we started this program three years ago, and we're excited because this will be our third annual conference, and it has continued to expand, and we believe every day we are saving lives, and we are saving lives because our local governments are joining our law enforcement partners and our community partners, and we're able to help the kids understand what the warning signs are in their classmates and inspire them to speak up and to tell a trusted adult so we can get them help. So we thank you so much for your support. It means so much. Thank you, Mayor. Again, I think the theme here is partnership and with the support of the county attorney's office and obviously our school districts and some pretty amazing people. Uh, thank you for everything that, that you do to help keep our kids safe. Okay, we'll do a group photo here. Okay, next recognition. This is the third time in a row we've done this one. It's great. Four out of the last five years. I want to ask Coach Sean Aguano and members that are with him of the 2018 State High School Football Champion, Chandler Wolves, to come forward. On December 1st, Chandler High captured its third straight 6A state title with a decisive 65-28 win over Perry High School. It capped a 13-1 and season, and I think 13 wins in a row as part of that 13-1. and And we wanted to bring the team to honor their commitment and, and the determination. I'm going to have Coach Iguana say a few words in a moment. Yes, for those of you that know me, I do love sports, and I also... I'm a graduate of Chandler High, so I'm a little partial to Chandler High. <laughs> Actually, a lot partial, but I root for all of our local teams, except when they're playing Chandler High. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, it's, it's really awesome to see this because, you know, it, it wasn't that long ago that Chandler wasn't real competitive in football. I mean, relatively speaking, 20, 30 years ago. But uh, they've uh, lifted the program to new heights, Coach Iguana, so I'm going to ask Coach Iguana to say a few words and to introduce uh, the teammates that are here tonight we we are very proud of you guys that was awesome and i was uh we were doing the tumbleweed uh, tree lighting ceremony that evening and i know councilmember stewart was at the game so he would tweet me and so he texted me i mean at half and he said it's like 31 to whatever 14 at the halftime i go that's pretty good or 30 27 to 14. then he texted me at the end of the third quarter and it was like I don't know, like 51 to 31. So I was feeling pretty good about that time. Then I got the final score. But you guys really outdid yourself. You guys came to play. So thank you, Coach. I appreciate it, Mayor. Thank you. Um, it is our privilege to represent Chandler, uh, the Chandler community, uh, not only in the state, but as well nationally. We've been uh, nationally ranked in the top 20 the last four out of the five years. And so bringing recognition to uh, Chandler community is incredible. And and the kids that we have at Chandler High School are just incredible, not only, not only athletic-wise, but academically. And so I brought Jacob Conover, who has uh, been our quarterback the last three years. Um, and this is an amazing stat. Uh, Jacob has never lost a playoff game, a championship game, or a national uh, game in the last three years. And he, he will be going on his mission in January and then uh, attending uh, Brigham Young University. Um, so, uh, so we're going to miss him. 
And now this guy to my right, he has uh, huge uh, shoes to fill. He will uh, be competing for the next quarterback position in, in the long string of quarterbacks at Chandler High School. So we wish him luck. But again, thank you, everybody in the community, for your support, especially yours, Mary. I know who you're cheering for. <laughs> Coach, I'm going to give you a bag to share with the – there's three keys to the city in there. There's one for you, one for the principal, and then there's a wild card. You can pick who you – give it to your wife then. <laughs> and some challenge coins and some other things for the, uh, the, the kids, the players on the team. But, um, yeah, you've done a spectacular job at uh, Chandler High. They've really you, – you brought that program. It was already a really, really, really good program, but now it's – it's a great program, and I know you work hard at it. And uh, to win three in a row, that's that's pretty special. And four out of five is extremely special. So we, we thank you. We're, I'm proud of you, and I've enjoyed uh, supporting you since uh, you've been the coach there. And hopefully that will continue, and I'll, I'll continue to support the team. Thank you, Mary. All right, thank you. Okay, Council, that's, that's pretty amazing to win three in a row like that. It's so competitive, and it's always a pleasure of mine when we have the, the battle on Arizona, Arizona Avenue uh, luncheon where we talk about the Chandler-Hamilton rivalry. I mean, it's not just a rivalry, and it's not just good football. When you look at all the people those two high schools have sent to the, the National Football League, it's really amazing. I mean, I'm watching TV yesterday. And there's uh, Terrell Suggs, who's going to be a Hall of Famer. He went to both Chandler and Hamilton. And then I, the list goes on and on. There's probably like seven, eight people in the league right now that graduated from either Chandler or Hamilton. So it's, it's pretty special. So it's awesome. And Coach has done a fantastic job, like I say. Okay, Council, that's the scheduled public appearances. We do have a consent agenda for Thursday as well as an action item for Thursday and a public hearing on Thursday. Any, nobody called in anything on the consent. Anybody have any questions? Council Member Wong. Yes, I would like to pull item 16 into action. Okay. Item 15 to action 16. One, one six. Okay. Okay. Thank we you. We'll put that. Any other comments or questions on the uh, agenda? Council Member Rowe. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. I'll just have comments on uh, item eight on uh, Thursday. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, with that, Council, meeting adjourned.